Hang on to your seat, baby, cause this one's a screamer. What is going on, Entertain? So today I'm coming to y'all with another video. So in this video, you guys, Tink talks about uh, Hitmaker allegedly um, having to get in a physical altercation with her before. This was low-key news to me. I'm a fan of Tink, but I don't keep up with her uh, social media-wise and also, like, drama-wise, because she's never in any drama. Y'all know my favorite star is Ratchet Commandments. That's y'all. Nah, sleep up on a nigga. See, you should have listened to them commandments, Tink. You should have listened to the commandments, but you slipped on the Ratchet Commandments, okay? But anyways, um, I like Tink as an artist because I feel like um, she actually can spit and sing as well. I never forget her freestyle that she did on um, the Breakfast Club. Uh, she was like, "This is a pita." Like Tink is awesome. So she recently went live and talked a little bit about an incident that happened between her and um, Hitmaker, formerly known as Young Berg. If you guys don't know who that is, he was on Love and Hip Hop. He did a whole rebrand after leaving Love and Hip Hop and became Hitmaker. So he goes by that in the music and entertainment industry. Now, got to give him his credit, though. He has done one of the best rebrandings that I've seen in a minute. You low-key kind of forget that he's ever been on Love & Hip Hop until something like this kind of goes down. Apparently, um, they got into some physical altercation at an outing, allegedly, and she goes on live and basically talks about her experience with him. I guess they were dealing with each other business-wise, and then it turned a little bit more into pleasure and she started holding him down as she claims and now things have gotten a little bit you know muddy and fishy okay um she says in this live that a lot of people warn her about going down uh more personal i guess business route with him make it due to his history uh one of the things that have happened in the past is of course masika we saw that whole incident that happened with masika where she allegedly claimed that him make put um, hands on her. So that happened around the time after Love Hip Hop Reunion was done filming, okay? Youngberg also goes live, aka Hitmaker goes live in this video as well and talks about the incident and talks about um, his relationship with Tink as well. Apparently there's videos that is there, but they haven't been released out to the public. Give TMZ time in a couple hours and we'll probably have those videos up for display. Hopefully this doesn't deter Tink for continue, continuing to go down uh, the musical path because the bitch is bomb, okay? So let me know what you guys think down below. And do you guys think that Tink should sever her relationship with Hitmaker once and for all? Or should she just continue going down, uh, working with him, but cut the personal off, okay? Leave your comments down below and we all babies. Understand, Hitmaker, you foul. And if you if you think to, to, to put the video out of me in the car, you know, just understand, I'm gonna have to let I'm gonna have to let the clip go, and everybody's gonna get exposed. Cause I know how you've been playing. The label know how you've been playing, and I've been holding shit down, riding for you, and for you, leave me, leave me be, please, please. I've been I've been riding for you and holding shit down. So if you if you were to even think about exposing me, you know what I'm saying? Just understand that I've been I've been locked in with you, and I've been holding a lot of things in. So. We can play that game, and, and, and I know everybody understands my heart is pure. I just shouted the man out this morning, so this is absurd. I just gave him his props. Thank you for accepting me. And then I see you in the club, and you gonna... <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying? And y'all told me about that man, and I can't be anyone but myself. And I had a moment in that car where I had to get physical. And that's what the fuck it is. Don't play with me, and please, you know what I'm saying? Please, don't get on this internet playing because I have, I have to defend myself. And Christian, when you see this shit, just understand you're foul. That's all I need you to know. And you, you, you tweaking with a real bitch, like a real one. You know what I'm saying? That, that goes through the trenches with you. Everybody told me to let that shit go. And everybody told me, be careful working with him. And I never seen it until now. And it's, honestly, this has been going on since May. So y'all, this ain't nothing new. I just have to express it because it may drop, it may leave. And that's it. New music is on the way. I can't even tell y'all what the what the album is gonna be, but I'm working every day and I'm working hard. And that's what niggas don't understand. It's foul when I'm working hard and you out here fucking off every weekend. You out here getting high, probably getting drunk, taking these hoes to trips. Like, bro, I, I like niggas that they get in their bag. 
no fucking uh internet drama type shit like and the crazy thing is we talked about this prior to even doing that but i can say this as a for women and as women if you see a nigga that you fucking with and y'all going through a breakup and you're somewhere and it's his birthday and he's with a bunch of other girls i can understand why she did that but it still ain't it ain't merit for uh her to go and get on the internet and get on and be like oh you playing with me and you doing this and and a loop like let's be clear if a physical altercation happened she would have said this nigga put his hands on me why can't none of y'all doing why can't y'all do y'all homework on that so do y'all homework on the fact that at the end of the day there's a situation to where people were dating it was a love situation and it's just a spin out you know what i'm saying and ultimately i ain't dealing with none of that shit y'all don't see me doing nothing nothing like that i ain't saying that she wrong for nothing like yeah like if that's how you carrying it and you want to go out and crash and blaze and and fight your man and 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 fight a nigga that you care about and put hands on then cool but that's that's really what's cool and ultimately this what the sad part is is that we're doing a whole project right now so i'm gonna talk to this girl we're gonna speak again i just don't talk to her about nothing personal we talk about straight business and with that being said i just don't think that y'all need to go drag it because of whatever you know what i'm saying and this is why i think she filed it though to even allude that some like altercation happened and knowing that you think that you my man oh excuse me that i'm your, your nigga and you love me like but this like I, I just turned 37 right this this is a certain different thing my birthday was like i don't operate like that you cross me in some type of way on some business shit or some personal shit i'm just like i wipe my hands with that shit like maybe because i'm older than her you know what i'm saying and that's just what it is but when we get to the bottom of the situation this what she wants. she wanted to be like a thing for the shade room or whatever and whether whatever the case is i want her to have the biggest album the biggest project why you think i've been pouring all this energy into this girl for it to be big i've went through so many things behind the scenes with her that i never divulged so it's just not really like anything to be said at the bottom line of the end of the day the only reason i said this or got on live is because like nigga i done been through so much shit on the internet i don't give a fuck about no internet but when you get to saying oh the label no and i work for a company and you allude that something happened and we had a physical altercation just just get on live and say yo i seen the nigga he was with a bunch of bitches and i opened the door and slapped the shit out of him leave it at that don't try and say that we had a physical altercation just because you know that I got the shit. And I'm not talking indirectly to her because we will still speak again. So, like, it is it is what it is. I just don't think that that's, like, something that should be, like, I wouldn't play with somebody I love. So, like, I can't play with, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm executive producing an album and I'm doing this shit... Why would I release a video to, like, defame anything that she got going on? If I walked in that same restaurant and she was with three niggas, I would never walked up on her table and did none of that. Like, I don't give a... All right, thank you. No, give me that. Give me the, give me the square. Leave them here. Thank you. I wouldn't have never played with with that situation. So, I'm not hurt. I think that she's a good person. I think that we got some good music. Yeah, I'm basically mad about her coming to the internet, Akbar, since you asking. She came to the internet and said that we had an altercation, which would allude to something that happened that was like a physical altercation between us. And it's just like... 
That shit lame, bro. Yeah, I don't, I don't care about none of that shit. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, give me a second. Yeah. Let me get one. Let me get one more uh, margarita. Thank you. With Julio, right? Yep. So. Yeah. So I ain't do nothing like that. And the crazy thing is, is that people will go and try and say like. Oh, well, it was an altercation. Like, no, it wasn't. She came and slapped me. She came and slapped me. That ain't no altercation. I ain't gonna lie. I wasn't even gonna get on the internet and do none of that shit or whatever. I was really, like, going back to my room and... and treated like other shit that had happened because I know the person. So, I'm not... I'm not doing this. The only reason I'm on live right now, and I wanted to be clear because this shit going to go viral and she going to see this shit, and we're going to still talk soon. The only reason I'm on live is that you're attempting to play with my money and play with my business and play with my face. Whether you want to do that and you want to be upset about whatever the situation is, I would never play, play with this situation. And I'm offering her healing energy like please heal like for real for real and we've talked through these situations so y'all gotta like let it go like for real for real cause I done let it go and I fuck with her I think she wrong for putting her hands on me and shit whatever and so I mean shit it's not really like a situation to where it could even be upset, but like, damn, you playing with, with, you know I'm the vice president of the company you talking about with the label, then you know that uh, I'm your a and and I'm your executive producer, so why even say that publicly? But I knew that that was a, something that was possible because that's just what people do when they, when they upset. So we can change it. I'm not playing victim on shit. I'm just telling y'all the truth, nigga. Going through a breakup with somebody for the last six, seven months. And it's just not that. So, I know it's no wins for no man, none of that shit, whatever, for me even saying that shit. But at the same token, she still shouldn't have put her hands on me. And that's why y'all talking about, she like, yo, I need you to back me up, back me up. If it was a physical altercation, what the fuck would she need y'all to back her up for? She knows she went and put her hands on me. And she don't have no, ri like, no disrespect to her friends because she was really deep. And I don't really want to disrespect because I've been around them women. But I would never disrespect those girls because they're very cool. So with that being said, I don't know if she's being transparent with those friends and saying, like, yo, um... I'm not talking to him. We're not we're not cool. We're not on the best of terms right now. This not what it is. And she, the friends could have said that. Like, look, check it out, right? Y'all know how hard that I done went. You know how y'all talk about, oh, you reinventing yourself. It's one of the best rebrands or whatever. And someone that's been dealing with you that says they in love with you for other for, for all this other shit, you walking out of a spot. Motherfucker, Youngberg, 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 Youngberg. I told, I knew, I told the girls to cut the camera on immediately. As soon as they got out of that Youngberg shit, I already knew where it was going. I'm like, yo, y'all start filming this. Film this. Like, see where it's going to go from here. So, with that being said, if you got some love for somebody and you know that this person has reinvented himself and did that, why you calling me young bird when I walk out the why you ain't your friends? Why you and these girls, they're the same girls that I done spent my money on out my own pocket and showed them a good time. Or whatever, like, why would that why would that even be the case? So make it make sense, bro. <laughs> like, make it make sense. Like I'm walking out of a restaurant, nigga screaming, young bird, young bird! Like, people, like, especially, like, it's no disrespect. I still am, like, 
I'm still me, but like for someone that's a, been a significant other for you, that know that you changed your whole situation around to be on some different shit, to try and like portray you like that and to play with you like that, then let's be clear. Here's the, the clear clarity of it. And I ain't gonna, I ain't releasing no footage like this. What the whole play was, she knew that uh, that all this shit on camera, so she wanted to go clear, clear her face. But I ain't finna like play like that. My door was closed. She opened my door and put her hands on me with security. The same lame fat nigga that be taking care of me. And I'm just, I'm looking at him, like, I'm looking at the security, like, bro, why would you allow that to go on? But I'm not finna be, like, a song quality or song material or nothing like that. Like, like, that shit is, that shit lame. And not only that, we make all the songs together. We make all the songs together. We have not been dating together. We have not been in a con committed relationship or dating together for over so when i was saying last night like oh it was 10 months and this down the third like to be honest this whole year we haven't really been dealing with each other the way we supposed to when y'all see me come out and give her bags or whatever at her sold out show because she sold out a tour it was because me being a man and an executive and being proud of her it's like yo here she need that she need the whole situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, and not even a need, but like a need, like I'm saying a downer. Like, no, like she need to feel that type of energy from someone that care with her. But, and no, y'all lying. I've never, like, to be honest with you, and I ain't trying to put my business out there. I haven't had no sexual relationship with the girl and over, and, like four, five, five, six months, like never. And she's a great person. Like this, how it all go? Like this, this what I want to say. You know how you meet people when you working? Me and her are really best friends. Like we really are, but we just we not no more. And it's a classic story of how that should go. I really wish that um that wasn't the case. But ultimately, like, when I had no intentions of uh, even saying nothing about anything that went on, this ain't our first little altercation or rodeo with something to where she feel violated. And we had a conversation to where she said, yo, um, look, I'm getting over this. So don't violate me by the third, whatever. But, um... And I agreed to that. But nigga, I'm in Cancun. How the fuck I know she in Cancun? What the fuck I know she in Cancun for? I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't even talk to her. And of course, we are going to talk. It is going to be cool. But the only reason I'm coming on this shit is because like, yo, don't be insinuating on things that you know didn't happen when you dealing with someone that has different situations to where the, the public is gonna try and like downplay them and go crazy on them and like do all that shit. Why would you, how could you say you in love with me? And the reason that you put hands on me is to be in love with me and then get on Instagram live before I get to my hotel, my hotel 10 minutes away from the restaurant. Before I got to my hotel, she was on live saying all oh, whatever she's saying. So I don't, I don't think that's love. And I'm just a real friend. And I'm still gonna be cool with her. And I want her to have some like real friends around her. Cause like everything that was happening last night, them girls were like igniting that and like like putting putting a flame to that shit. But good. So fellas. Ain't no personal.